What's up guys, Rome here from Team Duel League and I'm just going to be doing a uh, just a review of my collection binder. Um, over the years I've collected so many cards, I've sold so many other cards, um, but um, this time I decided to keep a lot of them just because of nostalgia uh, and also just uh, sentimental value. Uh, just for example this, this is like one of my very first tournament. I, I went first place uh, four times back to back and the owner of the shop actually um, gave me this as like an extra prize uh, and uh, they signed it. Uh, this is from my friend George Gonzalez. Uh, he had he had this card for so long. There's a huge backstory about that, and this is from my uh, fr uh, one of my best friends as well as uh, Carlos Guzman, uh, signed by him as well. It's one of my hated cards in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, just a couple of Pokemon cards because I actually played that, and it's also a Steel. I'm a big fan of Machine. Uh, I like this guy because he is holding the Millennium Scale, which is kind of like the sign for Libra and some cheesy thing like that. Uh, these were like the um, prize cards that, that are replica, uh, Grandopolis and uh, Skyship. And uh, I played Magic before and this is actually one of like my favorite cards only the fact uh, because of the fact that he's a steel, he's also a dragon, uh, um, and also it's October 1st, which is my birthday, so kind of cool coincidence. Um, I'm a big fan of, let me have that focus, big fan of uh, Naruto and SAO, uh, the god cards and the, um, they're not called god cards for the GX, uh, they're called something else, but kind of like the the alternate version of them on the second uh, series. Uh, the the set for the Duelist Kingdom, it was just kind of cool to have those when it got reprinted. My all-time favorite card, Limiter Removal. Um, I have them in Hobby League, in English, and uh, different languages, German, English, and French. Um, I have the Duelist League. Uh, green, blue, red, and purple. Um, this is the first uh, first edition PSV Pharaoh Servant and a retro pack. Um, and then this is a an Italian uh, super rare terraforming, uh, Japanese ultra rare limiter removal, uh, ultra rare Gear Town. These are the rare Gear Town from Turbo Pack Seven. Uh, super rare uh, terraforming. I used to have the French super rare from um, uh, like the uh, astral pack. I think it's astral. Yeah, astral pack. Um, other favorite card is Cyber Dragon. So I have all like kind of edition. First ed uh, set of first ed CRV Cybernetic Revolution set of um, DR04. Uh, ultra rare these this is super hard to find um, This were just the reprint, but I just kind of like the rarity of it uh, Toon cyber dragon because I like the original series and they, I liked having like the, the toon version And it's kind of nice to like see a toon version of cyber dragon. So uh, These were these are the rare first ed dp4 uh, duelist pack uh, And these were just the reprint, but they're secret so Kind of nice to have uh, Galaxy Soldier, uh, two Thunder King Ryo, the uh, Electromagnetic Turtle, and the Machine Kaiju. Those are the cards. Those are the cards I'm playing now. But those are uh, something I want to put in here. So uh, alternate art Jinzo, Japanese Jinzo, Spell Cancelers, and all-time favorite as well. Kind of uh, Denko Seka. I had these. I sold them. I had them again. I had so many, and then now it got reprinted, but I wanted to keep the original version. Um, rare, Ancient Gear, Gadgetron, Dragon, these are from the World Champion, um, World Champion Pack, sorry, there you go, uh, World Champion Pack, it's kind of blurry, there you go, WCPP, uh, and these are French, there you go, uh, I mean German, uh, Swift Scarecrows. Love that card. And the original um, Ancient Gear Galadron. One of them is a French. Uh, different version, uh, different languages of uh, Malefic Cyber End. 
There's a uh, French and German uh, ultra rare first Valor. Really helped me a lot throughout a lot of the games. English Malefic Sirens. Uh, DT Overload Fusion, Ultra First Power Bonds, Rare First Power Bond from uh, Duelist Pack, uh, DT Future Fusions, a uh, set of Ultra, the uh, Jump uh, Chimera Tech Fortress. These are DT, these are, this is Duelist League, and this is, I believe, like from the game. It's like the, uh, uh, it looks like Hobby League, but it's not. Um, Set of ancient or Machina uh, Fortress, Machina Gear Frame, and Machina Mega Form, uh, English and then German. It's just one of my all time favorites as well. Uh, the other kind of support for Machina that I've used uh, before the uh, dra uh, Dragon Rulers Redox was uh, probably one of my probably my favorite out of, outside of the whole. Uh, Dragon Ruler. I like all of them, but mainly him. Uh, German uh, Gen X Ally Birdman. Uh, these are two German Card Card D. That's a German Common uh, Unknown Synchron. And then the reprint. Uh, this was a huge, huge support for Cyber Dragons. I really, really loved it. Uh, these are the two German and there's two English uh, inside there. Uh, Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. These are from Astro Pack 8, um, Instant Fusion. Uh, sea Monster, Theseus, Prayer Cyclone, and Panzer Dragon were good targets for Instant Fusion. Kind of gave me different kinds of play, well, which is Ultimaya, Beals, Making Beals, and Making Crystal Wing. Uh, the love my. Kind of one of my all-time favorite uh, level seven and level eight synchro would be Scrap Dragon and Stardust, uh, Black Rose and Ancient Fairy Dragon. Since I I played Gear Town for almost all over, almost close to like ten years, I want to say. Uh, the Karkari synchros, Dark Strike Fighter. I believe he is the first machine synchro. I can't remember, but I think he is. Uh, he was really amazing um, before he got reprinted. Uh, and then just uh, some other. A uh, big fan of Alex, uh, just as Cathaster as well. And then when Exceed got popular, they had uh, Draco Sack. So I had a Ultra, um, a set of Ultra Draco Sack, which is actually from the Philippines. I visited the Philippines uh, and then I actually bought them. So these have really have a huge back backstory. Um, English version and the token I just recently got because um, they finally released or actually I don't know when they released this but I just saw them and I picked it up right away they're the uh, the actual tokens for Drake sack um, other rank sevens big eye favorite as well uh, this is a tornado dragon but I'm playing it so I just took it out of the binder uh, the infinity and Nova um, back row, I I hate back row, so I'm a big fan of back row destruction. So I have like a set of uh, the Hobby League MST, um, Hobby League uh, Heavy Storm, which was awesome uh, with Gear Town back in the days. Uh, Double Cyclone as well, Night Beam were good. Uh, Twin Twister are popular right now, and also Galaxy Cyclone uh, is also good with the the new Ancient Gear cards. I like to draw. Pot of Greed is an awesome card. But haven't really gotten a chance to like play with that like back in the days, because it got banned um, quick. Pot of Avarice was an amazing card as well for combo-based decks and all. I remember those. Uh, Pot of Dualities have such a huge uh, background story for me as well. Uh, that that this card really gave me a lot of experience and knowledge about the game, or mainly like the the time that I was playing these. Uh, that's when I kind of got competitive in the game. Uh, Pot of Desires, I love this card. I love this card. Um, huge background story with that too. Uh, revival spells, uh, Iron Call DT, uh, the original Monster Reborn, the Japanese Monster Reborn, uh, Soul Charge, and then Magnet Reverse. And just kind of extra uh, spells, Ultra uh, Raigeki, Ultra Book of Moon, and a DT Foolish Burial. 
I used to have Ultra uh, Dark Hole, but I sold that. Uh, this page is mainly just the uh, counter traps, like the, sol the Solemn uh, Brigade. These are my Solemn Strike, but I'm playing them, so I took them out. Um, I actually like Black Horn of Heaven as well. And speaking of hating on back row, I used to play uh, play this all the time just to kind of go for OTKs, uh, Trap Stuns and Royal Decree. Um, this, I'm still deciding what to put in here. It's going to be in the line of like back row hate. That is also a trap. Um, debunk, uh, it's one of my favorite deck cards. Uh, it really depends on what format and what's, what's available. Um, I like this during like the Dragon Rulers. Uh, there's other decks too uh, that that debunk is awesome against uh, treacherous trap hole I don't have a whole lot of collections with traps because I if I can play just one trap I'll just play treacherous and then side into um, a couple more traps just to kind of uh, kind of smoke screen uh, DNA surgery this car is surprisingly I don't know why it's expensive. Well, I guess expensive for what it is, but uh, these are the Duelist League. Uh, some of them are going for like $10 or so, but it's it, it's an awesome card with Cyber Dragons. So, uh, these are German Ancient Gear stuff, the Fusion and the, uh, the uh, Ancient Gear Hound, which has the built-in Fusion effect. Uh, Blue Eyes Collection, this is, uh, this is signed by DDG. Uh, Dragon Duelist Girl, which is Amanda La Palm. Um, when I was playing Blue Eyes back in the days with like the Gusto Emerald reviving him. It's an old school way. Uh, the we don't have this in TCG. This is only an OCG arts for right now. I don't know if we're gonna have it, but it's the uh, Blue Eyes with Seto Kaiba, which is a pretty awesome artwork. And just like another Japanese of uh, Japanese Blue Eyes. Uh, BLS random cards uh, these this guy's a machine reflect bounder uh, Cyberstein this was awesome I used to cite this a lot before and these are the Yu-Gi-Oh day um, I topped eight on all five the ones I don't have that means I, I was I wasn't able to uh, go to the Yu-Gi-Oh day so I, I think I missed three already because I think we have a total of eight now I, I think yeah I wasn't able to go to a couple of them sad but I might still pick them up as collection but I might put like a different mark on them uh, I used to play Mecha Phantom Beast for the longest time as well so I I used uh, three scapegoat even before the whole uh, link um, scapegoat is amazing in Mecha Phantom Beast so I had my friend sign it and these are just random cards, uh, kind of like cards I I uh, cut up and put them on a different card. Like Gear Town have Gadrotron, uh, Cyber End have the Malefic Cyber End art, uh, and then tokens. And then these are the Mega Phantom Beast tokens as well. And these tokens just look kind of like cool because he has a monster and the uh, um, the owner. Uh, Korean Cyber Dragon, Korean uh, Malefic Cyber End, uh, it's a Japanese Exodia Head, uh, Kinetic Soldier, this is actually the end of the page so I'm just gonna uh, real quick mention this, Kinetic Soldier, his attack is actually uh, 1350, um, and like I said earlier, uh, Luminar Removal is actually my favorite card, this is not, uh, this is, there's no like proof, but if you guys can see the, oh, this one's being covered, so we'll go right here. If you guys can see the uh, attack here is 2700, if I'm right. Actually, that's 2705. Um, I'm trying to figure out like which attack is actually being boosted up um, of, because of limited removal. I just heard like a little story about that. I'm just trying to research it. Like I said, like I'm a big fa fan of this card, so I'm just trying to figure out um, any any kind of storyline um, with this card. There might not even be, but yeah, that's my collection binder. If you guys see anything that you like, 
unfortunately i'm not trading them or selling them but hope hopefully you guys like the whole collection peace out